Howdy, welcome back to week two of a PCM sim draft, blah blah blah, uh, playthrough. First of all, let's have a look at the points for the first week. There we have the points on the screen there. You can see SGM is winning with 66 points, followed by Fabio Durek, Pedalus, Kaitalis, uh, you, you can see the rest of them. As you see, Cyril, the race organizer, event organizer, only has two points. I'm about mid 26, but we're doing pretty good there in the race for the overall. Let's just remind ourselves who is first in each classification before we head back into the racing. So overall, the Damien Halsen is leading for the best F class. Positive Evo, Latour, Tunes, Lopez, of course, that'll happen in that final stage. Their points classification is Warrenish Gold, who was leading the race for a long time. Simon Pelud is leading the mountain. Young Rider is Tobias Johansson. With Burgadu missing out quite a few times on that jersey second place quite a lot. And team is Fabio. Portuguese. Stage 8, as is typical Vuelta fashion, undulating route with a semi uphill finish at the end. Looks like it's one for the sprinters to have a bit of punch. Let's get into it. We have all these beautiful coloured jerseys. Damien Housen in red. Orange gold in the ugly green. Who's going to be in today's breakaway? That is the question. There we go. There's an attack Valerio Conti from EF Education. Jacob Scott, Hamza, and that's it. DSM also trying to get in the mix. Another Bora rider. And a few others. Looks like. Jaco and Lula are not happy with the composition of the second bunch on the road as they are swiftly caught. They're all trying to gain Gashinab, Silig, and Dehent. Breakaway specialist, the Swiss national team, getting one man in there. Like they're about to all come back together. Who's going to attack straight over the top? It is Thomas de Gint with Jacob Sutter, Hamza, Scott, and Case Casebol. Yetsbol. Madsen. Uh, it's all the same guys as before, really. 
Sidda Ford, who is second to last in overall GC, doing the pacemaking for Jacob Elula. And they're all caught all back together once again. Let's just see until we get a breakaway. It's the same guys going in the breakaway, and this Peloton's still not liking it. Red Walters, the Grenadian national champion, doing a bit of work on the front. There we have Guillaume Boivin, Hamza Sutter, Tihent, and Conti. Silig and Kristen also out there. There we go, looks like the Peloton is happy with this breakaway. So more than two people in the breakaway this time, of course. Valerio Conti, Jacob Sutter, Thomas De Hint, Guillaume Boivin, Fabio Christin, I don't know this guy's first name, but Hamza, Robit, and Rutger Silig. They have slowly and swiftly got themselves a two minute 40 lead. I don't think this terrain would drop any of the breakaway, but it'll be interesting to see if anyone sprints. Probably Jacob Sutter, but maybe not. In the peloton, it is Jacob Alula, Ineos, Glo and Global 6 with Human Powered Health doing the pacemaking. Of course, punchy finish. Who knows what will happen? Nil wind, so don't really need to have the wind up there. As always, with the sense of a few splits in the peloton, 4.5 kilometers to the intermediate sprint. Or is anyone going to try anything here? Let's have a look at the peloton really quick. Yeah, the sprint trains are ready. Mushkiti is behind his man. Uno X have their train ready. One kilometer is someone from the breakaway going to go for it. Just so Jacob Suffers on the front and negative. None of them are going to go for the sprint. So who's going to take it from the peloton? That's the question. Looks like Caleb Ewan on the left hand side, under Lee in the middle, but Nazolo on the right. Mushkiti just sneaking past. Lily showing that he can sprint, taking the most points out of the peloton for that sprint. He took seven points out of Mosketi, Nazolo, Ewan, Christoph, Ihon, and Decline. There's seven points on offer in the KOM jersey. I don't think that'll make a difference to the overall standings. Riders have been dropped. There's, that's right, there's a crash just as I changed camera. Valerio Conti and Thomas De Hint are crashed from the breakaway. Of course, that means Red Wolf has had, now has Conti right in his sights. And he is going for it. Oh, another KOM point coming up. Oh, two riders from the Swiss squad. Not enough for a breakaway masterclass like they did last time, but still enough riders to have some fun. Oh, it looks like the head and Conti are coming back. They're all sprinting for the KOM points here, and Sutter takes it here, Boivin, making no difference to the overall. Fall in the pack, Colset of Beard Cycling has crashed, and already Sitter Ford and Horton have been dropped. Gonna be a tough day for the, for them. 
tough tour overall. Back to the front, Robit is setting the pace 1.1 kilometers to the KOM point. He launches first boyfriend on his wheel, Sutter's sitting behind. If who's going to come around? I think Boyvin's going to come out of the wheel. He is, but he comes out too late as Robbie takes maximum points there. Conti and Dehent have sat up as they have given up on the possibility of winning. In the breakaway, Halton is now the last man on the road. He's looking very, very dead. Vega, Strom, and Walters are the next back on the road. You don't feel like yourself. You A few splits in the peloton due to the descent. Nothing too major. Intermediate sprint coming up, breakaway not even contesting, but the peloton of course is. We have to, we have Ewan launching first, taking everyone else by surprise, Peter Sargent is the only one to counter. Delay is just ch is challenging the veteran, taking the next best of the rest, Rashketi coming in behind him. No, no, Mishkiti beating Delay. Zola declined. A few splits at the back of the peloton getting dropped from that speed. Better the Uno X train there. Saint Bayer, another major name who has been dropped to the Kato. Tekla Heimanot. Expecting an att attack from a rider shortly, maybe, as we climb the hill. Everyone right click has been demolished. Twenty-two kilometers to go. Three minutes. The gap to the breakaway. Still, anyone's game. It could be the breakaway who takes the stage, but also could be the peloton. A rider has been dropped from the breakaway. It is Fabio Kristen. He must have been doing some great work there for Jacob Suther. We have the Global Six train now getting ready for Caleb Ewan. Relies train also getting ready there. kilometers for the breakaway they have about two minutes 20 it's not a day for the breakaway commentators early on said that the breakaway will not win too many stages however they seem to be wrong seven kilometers to go who do you think's going to take it from this bunch i'm going for hamza he's not the favorite on paper but he is at the back so hopefully he can take some of them by surprise Will there be another masterclass by the Swiss national team? Let's keep our eyes on it. Three kilometers to go. They seem to be rolling around semi nicely as they're entering the township. They're beginning the ascent up the hill. Hamza, not the best climber, but he's still got a decent sprint, decent kick to him. As Kristen is caught by the peloton. Gap is 2 minutes 20. They can't play cat and mouse for too long. The peloton is on their heels and the gap is being whittled away. 600 meters. Oh, Hamza is dying. It looks like it's Sata. Sata launches Oops, first. It is another Swiss national team masterclass as they take another win from the breakaway. Robit in second. Orvin, Silik, Hamza there. Is Hamza going to stay away from the peloton? Coming up in the peloton is Corbin Strong. Rasmus Tiller is on the, the left hand side. Caleb Ewan dive bombing in there, Delay being blocked, unable to continue. Michael Woods up there, of course, you know, the great sprinter Michael Woods is. Of 
course the man of the hour though. Oh, it's not even Horton. Horton's second to last now. Him and Setterford are driving, riding together. They have another 14 minutes to make it. The terrain is flatter, so it should be a bit easier. Six minutes now. I think we're going to see our first out of times as the two riders are sitting up and they are out of the time limit. Horton and Setterford will be out of the race. What was what doing? They have resigned themselves to the fact that they will not be here in the following stages. Big loss for Lubas there. Oh, Lubas is sad. Rightfully so, though. There we go. Joel Sutter is confirmed the winner of the stage. Hamzo, the top five. Peloton coming in. 1 15 behind. General classification. I don't think there's any change there. Hausen still in first. Pelud still in the KOM jersey. The Lee. I think of. I think he was in this. I don't know. Someone changed in that jersey. And Johannesson is still in the youth classification. Ah, Orange Gold was in green. He has lost the green jersey now. To the lead. A few riders losing time. But of course, sadly, Jim Halton, Simon Setterford will be leaving the race. It's very unfortunate. We thought they'd be there for a bit longer. They wouldn't get out on such a simple stage. Oh, a few changes in the top ten actually. Johannesson losing a bit of time. Same with Bogadou. Woods gaining some. Schultz, Quintana. And yep, the light takes over in the, in the points jersey. Oh, we have a troubled stage. We have a cobbly, hilly stage. Great for the Vuelta. Favorite course, Dylan Turns, I believe. Let's have a minute silence for Horton. Close enough to a minute from Horton for him as we mourn the loss of the great rider. Anyway, not gravel sectors, is it? No, it is gravel. Only one star cobbles. My mistake. Anyway, Chris Froome, the legend from Global Six, is the first to attack. He says there's a danger in the stage. And he wants to get ahead of the Peloton. He is joined by Lemon. Ola, Saint Bayer, Geshinard, and Kristen are in the. Oh, both Kristens are going to find themselves in the break. The hand of Stoichnik and Kulset looks like a big breakaway getting away once again. Three right, four riders from the Swiss national team preparing for a masterclass. 
So another attack in the peloton who's trying to get across. It is Rizal from Unumax, but the peloton... Yeah, they're fine. Ineos, don't mind them going off. Hams is a bit sad to miss out on the breakaway. Daniel Oss coming across. Big breakaway for today's gravel stage. Ineos <laughs> are uh, working on the front for Hausen of course at the front we have the KOM points after the gravel sector Saint Bain is leading into that with Gershenard and Froome there's a bunch of 16 runners out in front with the final three making their way up. In this bunch there are four from the Swiss team. Thalman, Kristen, Colombo and Kristen. Two points on offer but will they sprint for the k point? Looks like Froome's trying something but he's not showing much form. Saint Bay is going for it. He's blocking Calzoni. The red car of doom comes in clutch to help Saint Bayer, but Cluckers and Gashinard straight up through the middle. And all the runners are looking quite dead. Just for confirmation about who's in the break, Froome Allure. Colset, Colombo, Dehent, Conti. Let's get this top 10 of each of those standings up. Tupelik, Geshenard, Thalman, Kristin, Calzoni, Klucker, Sanvea, Stoichik, Kristin, Lemon, and in the second bunch, Oss, Rizal, and Wallen. The second gravel sector of the day. All they did was allow the second bunch to catch up to make a break of 19. Peloton is being controlled by DSM now. Rutger of Sorry, I can't remember the team is that? Of Wim's team also helping out. The Namibian national team too. Right has been dropped from the breakaway. Well and we spent ages trying to catch up. He's now paying for his efforts. Seems the peloton has woken up. The team of Hamza is chasing very, very hard. The gap is down to 2 minutes 20 now. There's an intermediate sprint coming up in 2.4 kilometers. Peloton is out of contention for it. But is the breakaway going to sprint for it? Looks like they will not be sprinting for it from the breakaway. The next gravel sector, not really doing too much to the breakaway. Peloton is on the Negrovo sector also. Hamza leading the charge after missing out on that breakaway. Next intermediate sprint, I'll slow it down again just in case they sprint. Always a few splits in the Peloton. Oh, not really a split at all. Oh, there. there, what? Second bunch on the road doing PCM tactics. They're slowing right down. Only this, a few riders want to chase and ride up the road. Otherwise, this is Hamza out the back. Nope, it is Fagastrom who is out the back. Daniel Oss leads the breakaway over the sprint point. 
no change. Maybe our Columbo moves up, actually. Columbo into the top 10 now at the points classification. The Polygon team are working for must be maybe Diaz. Or they're just working to catch back up. As the gap between them and the Peloton stays relatively the same. They will definitely be catching back up, dragging back with them many leaders. Delise here, decline. It's a punchy finish though. More of a hill finish actually. Who's working on for the Peloton? It is Tiller. Parsini and there's Rick Zabel. We talked about Rick Zabel not being in the picture. Another split in the back. <coughs> oh, of course, my team is the one that's left behind. Classic. Oh, Malushi and Einhorn. Voltidi. There's Hamza. This is a split that matters at the moment. Wim's team still chasing hard. The gap between them and the Peloton still about a minute 30. Two runners have been dropped from the Peloton Tessin and Tekla Hemenop. As they hit the next bit of gravel. Zabel's gone, the Van Ashbrook, Parincini, and Rasmus was Tiller. Bozenhagen and Quintana are doing some pacemaking now. More riders dropping from the Peloton. Halverson and Egg also dropping back. Alec Surgent. Sanbea has been dropped from the breakaway as he's falling back towards the peloton who has been dropped here. Florian Vermish is losing contact with the peloton. Our lives been dropped for the breakaway straight through the peloton. Same with Daniel Loss. Only 11 riders left in the front for the breakaway. The second bunch on the road is close to the peloton. of the GC favorites keeping safe. Here comes that second bunch. They're very, very close now to making contact. They have made contact the back as one bunch. Although some runners were not surviving puncture for Stenner's Law and Lewalski. He is still in the peloton though, keeping safe. Robert Van Gissel, Tiller, Van Ashbrook and Burade have been dropped. Hauser now doing some pace making on the front. And he was back to setting the pace making Johannesson of Team Pay to Lose also here at the front. Conti and the Rizal have three minutes over the Peloton, but they're still a minute behind the front of the breakaway as we head towards the category three climb. Attack by Colsit, but no, Calzoni is over coming up around the outside. Cluckus is trying something. A little bit of a block there. Calzoni comes over. Ooh, no, maybe not. I think Colsit might have just had it. 
as the front group now becomes seven as the two Swiss as two of the Swiss boys drop off. Froome is gone, the Grand Tour champion. Goldstein setting a nice easy tempo up the climb. A lot of riders not wanting to be dropped at Red Walters in this latest group. Two Swiss boys are back, up to three. 19 kilometers to the finish. Looks like another breakaway win. So Peloton really don't seem too interested. Goldstein setting a decent pace, but nothing too fiery. Colson attacking with Stoink. The one to counter Christian Cluckett as they're dropping off Calzoni, Gishinath, and the two other Swiss boys. Four point eight Ks to the top of this gravel climb. There's Froome and No Man's Land between the Peloton and the Breakaway. 3.7 Ks for the Breakaway now. Anyone trying anything from the Peloton? Nope. There's a fall though. Quintana's on the ground. Clark, Will, the Moise. No one properly losing time time. No Man Breakaway still just steadily climbing together. 1.9 Ks to go. Christoph's name is on the ground, but don't see Alexander Christoph here. Dylan Tunes has attacked from the peloton. He is with Chris Froome and Andrew Tuplik. Up in the front, it is Cluckers who launches first. Lemon and Gashinath. Gashinath's coming round him, but it's Calzoni on the left, a man who we thought was out of contention. The Italian Calzoni from Bora wins the stage. The three Swissmen coming in the second bunch. Back to the favourites. We have Turns working with Froome and Tupelik. The Peloton is almost on their wheels. It is Adam DeVos who is catching them back up. The Peloton's all back together. Turns is sitting up. He's letting a few of the Ineos, bo Ineos boys come to the front to do the work. Turns goes again. This time it's Andreas Kron who tries to follow. He follows for a bit but dies. One kilometer to go for the breakaway. Johannesson's trying now. Kron with a bit of a tactical block there. They've got a slight gap. Tjorns is coming across the line. He's going to make top 10 on the stage. There's going to be a few splits here in the pelotons. We see Mark Stewart trying to keep that time consistent. There will be some time gaps probably along here. A little bit of a scrum, whoever's dropped the wheel, all the domestics will not be happy. And our top 20 for the stage. Who's missing out? Alexander Camp, he's a favourite, but not too much. Fogelsung, Hum van Hoeke. Anyone here in the top 10 missing out? No, just a lot of sprinters. Vegas from last on the road. The question is, will he be joining Horton and going home and watching the race on his TV? Vegas from lives to fight another day. We have the podium. Coles only takes the stage from the breakaway. Six minutes thirty-eight of the peloton. I forgot to put the results in the thing. The last stage. Oh well. Oh, I forgot the export for last stage. Best climber Simon Pellud, 35 points still. 
point classification delay. It looks like no, nothing's changed there. Young Rider is Johannesson. And Sir Gospel Gio has he taken over the, the team classification? Whoops. Whoops. Stage 8. Stage 9. But changes in GC, turns, jumps, Latour in GC is now up to fourth. Gaining a bit of time on Hells in there. Stage 10 ends in a decent sized mountain. So, of course, the Benz Woods is the favourite with the Hennison Lopez and Van Gils. More bigger gaps in the GC Cyril, I thought the same. Third robes to begin with, hopefully this is holy shit look at that percentage in that final hill. Average 12.4%, max 18. Holy shit. That's gonna be a tough stage. Breakaway, freeze on, getting into the breakaway. Ludwigsen, Trollio. Let's see who the who any of us are letting go. Quite a few riders, it seems. Oh, someone here they're not liking. Is it Calzoni? Is it or Fideli? Hams is not happy. Any of seem to have settled down now. So today's breakaway, 15 riders. Ella, Thomas Gehent, Sutter, Tupelik, Fordevoir, Abraham, Frizon, Ludwigsen, Os, Garcia, Pena, Tulio, Feta, Rigoletti, Marcelo, and the Sane Bayer. Stage starting out quite easy with a very long flat section before getting to a small hill and then the final monster climb at the end. Looks like it's been a crash early on that we have just missed. Covilli is the only little loser as he gets back into the peloton, easy peasy. Other teams now helping Enios out with the pacemaking. Rudger Selig, Blicher, and Hamza helping out here. Sambad, right definitely a breakaway king. It looks good in his Mongolian national champion jersey. Guess that makes up for uh, Horton crashing out. 5.4 to intermediate spread. Will Sutter go for it now that he is in the top 10 of the points classification? Oh, 
No. But he takes second best points in that. As he moves, as he's in third place in that classification. Damn. If he wins the next one, he could close to a masterclass in this. Let's get to some of the action now as this, the hills begin. Breakaway is 3 minutes 35, it could be enough, it all depends how they climb. Ludwig's in doing a huge pull on the flat. The Swiss national team only having two runners in the breakaway today, hopefully that is enough for them. DSM joining in on the pace making, Tom Van Ashbrook of the Namibian national team. Puncture for Sheehan in the breakaway, and he has been dropped. Probably about 30 seconds behind the back of the peloton. The breakaway has begun the first climb of the day. Very short, but ends with a sprint point sprint. Sutter should move himself up towards the front of the breakaway, or else he will. So we can hopefully get into that green jersey. If I were him or his team manager, that's what I'd be doing. But it looks like neither of them care too much. They're just going to let everyone roll through, it seems. Sort of still third on the points classification. The real mountain of the day begins shortly. The cold rates. 3.1% average, 9.7% maximum. One rider has been dropped, it is for de voir. Tupelik and Aula also off the back of the breakaway. Thomas DeHent looks like he'll be losing distance with that breakaway as well. What's happening in the peloton? Van Ashbrook just pacing them up the hill. Sane Bayer getting into the mix. Looking good there, looking looking primo actually. Six kilometers to this KOM point, there's five points on offer. No one here is in the top ten, but it's still money in the team's bank for gaining KOM primes. One K to the KOM point. Who is gonna take it? Looks like Sutter's trying something even though he's not particularly high up. Oh Tolio takes it just with the Galito in second. As Sutter moves up into the top 10 of that classification now. The breakaway is about 4 minutes on the peloton. A few riders have been dropped out the back. Red Walters, Mateus Kopecki, Roger Kluger, and of course Fagerstrom. But Blikler, Selig, Hamza, Vakuli also out the back. Bad days for them. Breakaway has about was it, five and a half minutes on the peloton. Will it be enough for this final climb? I don't think so. You get chance. Attack in the breakaway by Tolio. He is brought back as Virgatilio attacks now again. Sane Bayer's on his will and Daniel Oss. With Vixen and Freeze are about to be caught by the Peloton, led by Lorenzo Fortunato. Final 13 Ks of the stage.
six minutes for the breakaway. I reckon it's still anybody's game with a huge kill at the end and no one in the breakaway really being a particularly amazing climber. Ten kilometers to go for the breakaway. Attack by Friesen from the second group on the road. Ludvigsen still two minutes ahead of the peloton, which has been whittled right down. No one major has been dropped. Six kilometers to the top, they're all working still quite nicely together in the breakaway. The final climb is only five kilometers long, but it's still very, very steep. Attack by Tolio, Sane Bears on his wheel, as is Daniel Loss, the three people who are always in the attack. Eric Fetter just gets ready, sets his, sets his nice pace for the rest of the breakaway. Three point six Ks to go. Anything happening in the peloton yet? Nope. Fortunately, is still driving the pace in for them. Hopefully, we'll see some time gaps on this hill. They're hitting the black mark. There is a crash in the back. Lots of riders are on the ground, but they're all up now. The peloton's down to 58 riders, 57 lot riders just dropping off. There is now five and a half minutes between them. I think the breakaway might have it. Virgilito going for something again. Soto's being pushed towards the back. Michael Woods now to the front of the peloton. He's going to be causing some damage with his insane pace up the hill. Oh, who's been dropped? Lorenzo Fortunato has his, his efforts. Four minutes is the gap from the breakaway to the pack with 500 meters to go. Don't think they're going to do anything there, but it's going to be between Vergatillo and Feta. Feta's launching on the left. Vergatillo cannot respond. Eric Feta from EF Education celebrates. He takes the stage. Woods has attacked the peloton. He's sitting just ahead of them. Johannesson's just out in front as well. Few more domestics are dropped. Woods is going to be gaining some time today, but nothing major. Schultz and Tunes and Helsen. Once again, another dead GC day. Lopez, one of the men losing out on in today's stage, losing a lot of time in GC. Looks like Lopez might be out of the top 10. This group of five was not at risk of abandoning the race as they only have 2.2Ks to go but have about 50 minutes to complete it. Podium on today's stage, Eric Fetter takes the win, four seconds ahead of Vogelito. There's other breakaway companions coming in, Woods coming in, 3.53 down. Gaining seconds on everyone else. GC still Damien Howells and Steph Class, Dylan Tunes, Pozzavivo losing a place to Tunes, Woods moving up, the Tor losing a spot. Bit of a reshuffle there towards the end, but Howells and still in red. Okay, on classification is still Simon Pelod. Anna Dali still with his 167 points, but Joel Sutter moves up to second 
162 in the points classification. Young rider Johannesson gains time on Burgadu and Sergos Pergio still leads the team classification. Yeah, Lopez is in time, what the hell? How much time did Lopez lose? He lost six minutes. Oh, that's Lubas's team also. I mean, same bad did really well. Let's have a look at the changes in the GC. Dylan Tunes moves up one, Positivo down one, Woods up two. Lopez down 8, which makes everyone else move up by one position. Nick Schultz is now in the top 10. Stage 11, a time trial. Favorites are Campanuts, Warren Schultz, Sargent, Latour, and Sutter. Woods about to lose five minutes, quite possibly. And okay, I'll keep it on Chrono 4 this time so we can see the finish line times. Vegas Throm the first man off him versus Red Walters. I think Red Walters will take the best time for the first few riders. Oh, Bleak is third to last now. He must have lost some substantial time. Yeah, Walter's passing Vegas Thron before the first time check. Vakuli will be first in the hot seat for a while. Nope, he has been beaten by area. Madsen Toft Madsen. Martin Toft Madsen. He is setting all the best times through all the time checks. He's going to see me the well, not the first man to finish actually, but he's has the first best time, 42 minutes. Oh, freezing the next best on the road, or losing 44 seconds at the second time check. It's not worth going slow in the sooner riders to go. Schwartzman moving up the rankings, two minutes down. The first time check. Second place, Peter Sagan rolling through the race, taking second place in a few of these intermediate time checks. Not the greatest sprinter in the world, but not the worst. Van Gissel coming through the top 10 performance. Oh, Ludwig's in close on the first time check, 19 seconds down. Can he perform better at the second time split? That's the real question. No. Here's the answer. But our day is not going to do too well. Thomas the hand, 15 seconds out of the first time check, down to 30 seconds in the second. Oh, Alex Sergeant, one of the favorites for the stage. He's passing. Falman, who is his minute man. 
Can he beat the time of medicine? He's within 10 seconds of him at the second time check. He could be in for a winning time now, just needs a negative split. Fourteen seconds, he's slowly losing ground to Madsen. But he is the closest by far. He's gonna get within a minute of Madsen. Seventeen seconds down. Excellent work by the young Belgian. MP setting a top ten time there. Victor de la Part setting a top ten time. He must be on a good day. Yeah, he's 30 seconds down at the second time check. Not going to be too close. Heidemann. Oh, he's getting knocked out of the top 10, unfortunately. Oh, Raul Garcia gaining places. Joe Roscoff now fourth at the first time check, 15 seconds down, but he's 30 seconds by the second time check. He's gained some placings. Let's see what happens at the third time check. Hey, someone subscribed. Thank you, WP. Well, Roscoff slowly moving up, but losing time still. Aaron Gate within 10 seconds of medicine at the second time check. He's on for a good time today. New Zealand national champion. Professionally in third, 20 seconds down. Florian Vermeesh missed out on the last stage, hopefully grabbing some time in this stage. Second, 17 seconds down. Joel Sutter. There you go, he's stealing, he takes fourth place behind Alec Sargent. Invad Bozenhagen loses 30 seconds at the second time check, but is going to be rolling into the top 10 provisionally. Incorn pretty similar to Bozenhagen. 30 seconds at the second time check, so he won't be close to the winning time. Word Schmidt, who was in the hot seat in the first stage for a while. Four, five seconds down at the first time check. It's all about the second time check. If he's losing 30 seconds by now, he won't be win in it. Only 11 seconds, he's still in it to win it. Losing 20 seconds at the next few time checks, he'll be out of contention for the win. But sitting a provisional top 10 time. Oh, Warren Schold, winner of the first stage, sitting an amazing time, beating that of Madsen at the first time check as he's coming into the second time check. Let's see what his time is. So he was five seconds ahead at the first. He is now nine seconds ahead at the second. The Norwegian time trial champion. Can he take his second stage of the tour? He won't gain time to get, to get into red this time, but he should be able to take stage honors. Here he comes to the third time check. Beating Madsen by 13 seconds. Can he hold on till the finish or is he gonna die? 
He seems to be going at an amazing pace, the time trial here. He's into the final kilometre, he's powering up 60 kilometres an hour into that final corner. He wins by 18, well, he leaves now by 18 seconds, can anyone challenge him? Harry Sweeney just outside the top 10, fit on the same. Jakob Fogelsung, key domestic for Uno X, gonna be in the top 25. Ooh, Fortunato losing already a minute 58 at the first time check. As we get into some of these GC runners, Hugo Huil, 8th in the first time check, 16 seconds down. Strong ride from him. We see him go through the second time check, losing 33 seconds. He won't be able to contest for the victory, but he's going to be close. Victor Campanats now. He has beaten the time of Wernschgold by three seconds. The Norwegian is in the hot seat. He is praying quite loudly. He is now five seconds ahead at the second time check. Campanats is 25th overall, 13 minutes down. He's coming into the third time check. Eleven seconds now, it looks like Campanats without injury, fall, crash, or absolutely cooking it. Will win well right into the hot seat to be fair. Yeah, he is ahead of Orange Gold, 13 seconds. As we come to some of the GC hopefuls, Van Gill's 50 seconds down at the first time check, a minute 36. Andreas Kron losing substantial time today, a minute on the first time check, 2 minutes 15. That's bad news for Wim, I think. It is bad news for Wim. Miguel Angel Lopez, though, he's sitting a decent time, trying to claw back some of the time he lost yesterday. Lubas will be pleased, losing only 38 seconds at the second time check. Might be the best of the GC hopefuls. Sebastian Reichenbach, 13th, losing a minute 25. Ben Eetveld, losing a minute 35 at the second time check. Quintana, though, he's coming up to that second time check. He is 11th overall. He'll probably be losing about a minute 35 or so. Two minutes. Ooh, bad news for Quintana there. Nick Schultz has been very active in the last few stages. He's really lost a minute in the first time check. Losing two minutes at the second. Derek G is sitting at reasonable time, top 20, not losing too, too much. Matthew Bergadou, he's losing a, he's going to be losing some time, losing some placings in the top 10. I think Derek G is going to come over the top of him in the GC. Tobias Johannesson, the man in white. He is beating Bogodou and he'll be extending his lead in that youth classification. He is a minute 35 down, so losing time on GC. Pierre Latour, a man with a chance. He's only 9 seconds down at the first time check, 16 at the second. I think he's going to be the best of the GC contenders. As Lopez, losing a minute at the third time check. They were right, Michael Woods lost a minute. At the first time check, two minutes at the second time check, not looking good for him. Positive Evo for already 50 seconds down. Dylan Turns though, ooh, Dylan Turns could be putting in an amazing time. Steph Klaus a minute. Damien Hausen looking pretty reasonable actually. Let's head to the front with the finish line. <coughs> right, come back, losing 2.45. I think Van Eetveld will be doing a little bit worse than him <laughs> on today's stage. I think three minutes Quintana. He'll be riding himself outside of the top 15 as he's losing three minutes already at the second, at the third time check. 
Derek G will out of contention for the overall, but 17th. Nick Schultz losing four minutes. There's Bergadou versus Latour. No, Johannesson. Latour has passed Johannesson. Latour is on a blinder of a day. Bergadou's coming across the line now. Four, losing four minutes. Latour will lose like 40 seconds, I think. 32. Ooh. Johannesson losing three minutes. Michael Woods, though, one of the biggest losers of the GC contenders. He's already three and a half minutes down at the third time check. The three Ks to go. Positivo losing a lot of time also. Woods losing four and a half minutes, winning 106. Positivo losing three minutes. What a bloke. Dylan turns probably lose two minutes, will he? Two minutes twenty? Two twenty, approximately. Damien Housen has passed Steph Class. He's on his way to a victory, it seems. Although, it depends how far behind Pierre Latour was at the start of the stage. Latour always up there when it, when it counts. Housen comes across a minute thirty three. Steph Class. I think 3 minutes 58. Let's have a look. That means Victor Campanuts wins the stage. 14 seconds ahead of Orange Gold and 32 seconds ahead of Latour. Latour, the best of the GC contenders. What does that do to the GC? Latour is. Was he in second before? Can't, can't recall. Housen is still leading Latour by 42 seconds. Turns Positivo keeps his fourth place. We see Lopez and. You know, we see Woods dropping Lopez. Rising up again, Burgadu losing quite a substantial number of placings. No change in the KOM points classification. We see Warren Gold take over from Dili with Sutter still in second. Young Rider still Johansson of Petrolike, which is paid to lose, has extended his lead. And Sir Gospergeal. stage for today. Warren called the favourite, Delay and Christoph. <coughs> Let's go Latour, exactly. Latour for the Vuelta. Do not think I might not have time for all the stages from today as I have to go riding. Let's have a look at that change to GC result. The tour up four places, G up four places, cross down four, woods down four. Lopez up six. <laughs> Some big changes in the GC. But not in the overall. Orange Gold jumps two places in the points. And no changes for the leaders of the other classifications. <coughs> no one's doing a breakaway go at this stage. 
as I say that, a group of four is allowed to escape. Hamza, Kristen, Edria, and Oss. Pan flat stage. Really, the only interesting points are the two sprint points in the finish. Definitely not be allowed to win today. <coughs> Who's doing the pace making? It is human powered health with a large spawn of their team, the Enios and Jacob Alula. Not even a crosswind, just a very, very flat stage. There we go, first intermediate sprint now. Two kilometers to go. Are they going to contest it? No. But the peloton will be. There yeah, the sprint team's coming up. Bosenhagen leading out the orange gold. Malucci's in the middle. Bit of a bit of a scrum as Ewan starts up on the right hand side. The Boist in the middle. Einhorn. Where's Delay? Delay's not even here. Orange gold still leading that classification. Dun 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 Really pan flat, boring stage. Get through this in like two seconds and then we'll head to the next stage. minute 20 now, gap to the peloton, as Oss attacks, leaving his companions in the dust, as the peloton is gearing up for the sprint now, Daniel Oss is ninth in the points classification, he's going for some more points here, 3 kilometers to go, his breakaway companions are trying to catch back up, the sprint trains are getting ready, to lead out the riders, Ewan is on the right hand side. Oss is set up. Why is he set up? I don't know why. The sprint is coming from behind. Oss will lead them over the, the sprint points. Delay is launched from the Peloton. Moschetti is there also. Christoph Einhorn, De Bois, a big bit of a scrum there, but Orange Gold still leading Delay up into second. It's going to come down to the Final sprint with 20 k's to go. Group of, group of six out in front now. A few riders trying to bunch across. Ten kilometers to go. We see that some of the sprint trains are there. Albanese on the left hand side of the screen. Positivo for GC, but the sprinters at the front, Ewan, Malushi, 
Einhorn Delay and the Voiced. It is Harry Sweeney of Ewan's team on the front. Aula is in second wheel, Blake, then Ewan. And it seems other sprinters are chilling in behind him. The right hand side, we see Van Ashbrook moving up. Rosemouse Tiller, is they sprinting for him? I'm not sure, but Delia's team have taken over now. 2.4 kilometers to go. Delia has to go, he's run out of lead out men. He launches 1.6, he's got a gap. Who can come around? The boys is trying to come through. Delia takes it with ease ahead of Nazolo, Einhorn, De Boist, and Strong. Only a few riders losing time. There's Red Walters and Fagerstrom, the Swiss, Swiss, Swedish rider. Delay finally showing that he can sprint and taking the stage win. No change in GC, no change in best climber. I think there's a bit of a change in the points classification. Oh, so I can get him blocked. Well, you know what they say respect your elders. Another top ten for Cyril. Yeah, no change in GC, but yeah, Delia is back in the points classification as Warren Skold gives that up once again. Another sprint stage, this time with a bit more of an undulating route. Some more KOM points on offer. You just win, yeah. First one, I think, is it? Hopefully, see a strong break. But it's six points on offer for the KOM. Michael Valgren of Uno X, followed by Aaron Gate of this team I always damn well forget. Pan Paddock. Let's see who the breakaway is willing to let go before we start naming names. Ross would name a thousand names, and no one would be in the breakaway. And there's 10 riders out in front, but Tupelik is not happy, either is Jacob Alula as they are trying to chase the break down. Looks like the break is somewhat established. Aaron Gake, Rizzle, Colombo, Madsen, Heidman, Friesel, Valger, and Abraham, Sergeant, and... Lyo, that's at Lubas. No, I mean, it's Pan Parrick. Hmm. Human Powered Health still not happy with the breakaway as they are charging hard trying to catch them and they have caught them apart from two riders who attacked as Frizon and Gate they are away alone as Ineos says hey let's let the breakaway get some time so we can have a bit, bit chill of a day Gate has attacked Frizon now 
and Aaron Gate is the sole leader at the head of the race. Boulderstone has crashed, but he's up in the peloton. Simon Pelode, the KOM leader, has attacked, as has Del Toro Diaz. They have joined Gate up the road as Frizon is still left in the middle. There's going to be a fight for the KOM points here. Del Toro is about nine points behind. But a fight is still a fight. Okay, is dead. The original instigator of this peloton. Let's break away. Del Toro looks like he's struggling a little bit. Well, that was fake. That looks like he gave him the look. Gate has been dropped as a three in the top ten of the KOM classification. Are going forward, Pella is coming around the outside of Del Toro. Who's going to go over the top? Pella is going. Del Toro dies, but Diaz comes over the top and takes it from all three, or uh, all the other two. <laughs> Pellard and Del Toro were too busy looking at each other to see Diaz sneak up behind them and take it on the line. Aaron Gay has been caught by the Peloton and it's just these three out in front now. Second KOM point of the day. Hopefully they will look out for Diaz now. They haven't got Aaron Gate driving the pace for them. Del Toro. All the judges look pretty damn similar, but Pellard once again launches. Del Toro sitting in second wheel. Do we think Del Toro is going to do some damage here? The Pellard opens up the inside. Is that a mistake? Maybe he can power through. He dies on the line. Del Toro tries to come through, but once again it is Diaz over the top. Miguel Diaz. Still in the fifth position overall in that classification. Meanwhile, Ineos driving the pace with Tashkent a little bit helping out. Fourteen case the final came in point of the day. It won't make any difference to the KOM standings. Although Diaz, if he grabs it, could go up one position. One point eight Ks to the top as Pelo once again at the top. This time we're watching Diaz. Diaz is sneaking up through the middle. No one's even though he's won the last two, I'm surprised they're not, they're not looking at him. Wondering what to do next. One K to go, who's gonna break first? Of course it's Pellard once again. Del Toro straight in his wheel. Diaz, he's biding his time. He's done it the last two sprints. Is he gonna do it again? Pellard opens up the inside for Del Toro. Del Toro is coming through, Diaz has been blocked, Diaz is straight through for the win, almost like a lead out is what it looked like. Vegas Rom has been dropped, he's done his work for the day and he will try to get home within the time limit. Back of the peloton, a few riders are struggling. They're still going to be, keep, be able to keep up, but they're struggling a bit. Stephen Williams has fallen. Stephen Williams will abandon the race. 27th overall in a big domestic for actually probably a yeah, domestic for for Burgadu. That's very unlucky for him. Hugo Hoyle also down. But he will make his way back to the peloton. God knows, Lubas. God knows. It looks like a damn lead out to me. Freeze on has now been dropped from the peloton. A few splits occurring in this descent. 
5k, still the intermediate sprint. Oh, a major rider has been dropped. Who is this? Bosenhagen has been is off near the back of the peloton. 2.1 kilometers intermediate sprint. No one in the breakaway is sprinting, but the sprinters here at the front. Delay sprint train is here, but he is not there. He's on the wheel of Ewan Dele on the left. No one even close. Ewan reacting late. With strong coming around for second out of the peloton there. Whereas Werenschgold, he is losing his points, his hold of the points classification. More riders, Walters, Layu, Wallen, Levens, Tupelik, and Adamentes out the back. Del Toro has been dropped from the breakaway. The hill is just too much for him with Diaz and Pellard pulling at the front. Few riders dropping wheels in the peloton, causing a few splits. There seems to be a major split here at the back. They will catch back up, but Dylan Turns is caught on the wrong side of it. Christensen's caught on the wrong side of this. Bald Baldati. The breakaway only has about a minute twenty on the pack. With thirty kilometers to go, there will be a stage for the peloton. Another mass sprint. Intermediate sprint being contested by Dele as he takes over in the front from the breakaway decline in a second. Diaz, Pelud, Christoph, then Malushi, Orange Gold, and Nazolo making up the top 10. All the Peloton is back together, although Corbin Strong says his attack, but he hasn't. 22Ks to go. The sprint trains are getting themselves lined up. Ready to go. Oh, there's a fall, but Delete has fallen, but he's back up. MP and Decline have fallen too. If only it was an older PCM where those falls would actually cause them to drop out of the pack. But unluckily, it didn't for some of the other teams. Delete is still here up at the front. Nazolo's got a small train. Actually, Nazolo's not even got a train, Nazolo's stealing off the Muschietti train. DSM now on the forefront, Vermish leading up Minton, Nazolo's on the Minton train, Christoph is there. Breyat for Ewan, where is Ewan? Ewan's in the middle, he's out of contact with his train. So they two case to go, if you're not on the front now, you're going to be in some hard luck. Dele is too far back, Peter Sagan at the front now. Peter Sagan's leading the spread, it is Peter Sagan at the front, the boys coming through on the left, Ewan with a last minute pull to the line, but it's Corbin Strong winning for Cyril. Ahead of Ewan. Cyril takes his first stage win of the Vuelta. No one major losing time that I can see. Oh jeez, Fagastrom is quite the way back. Today might be the day that he doesn't make it. Ah, oh, he's gonna make it probably. Yeah, he's gonna make it just. 900 meters, he is about two minutes. Oh, it's gonna be very, very close here. He's made it with a minute to spare, Fagostrom. Yes, Sagan with the top three. <coughs> Podium, Corbin strong with the win for Cyril, Ewan in second, and Sagan for Lubas in third. General classification, still housing. Don't think there's any change there. Best climber still Palud. Isaac Del Toro in second. And Diaz in fourth. Points classification Delee extends his lead on Warren Schgold. Corbin Strong up into fourth. 
and younger rider. No change there. No change in GC, points classification, a few riders moving up and around. Nothing changed anywhere else. And now onto the final stage for today's stream. We have a mountain stage. Johannesson is classed as the favourite, with Woods the second favourite. Lopez up there. Hopefully try and gain some of that time back that he lost. There is a... HC climb for 20 points and two category one climbs. Also a lot of points on offer. It's gonna be an interesting stage. <coughs> See ya, Lubos. Oh, it's raining as well. Perfect weather for Tord to abandon. Fouché, get the damn brake, please. Apologies for being away there, had to go do something. Hey, Fabio Silva, thanks for subscribing. There seems to be a few riders in the break who are of, are of importance. Simon Pillow, Perry Sweeney, Neil Lenz is in the break, Froome, Van Gillis in the breakaway. Who else is trying? Levens. Big Bunch is trying to try to get in the break, but Damien Howes and himself with Ineos chasing them back down. I think these riders here are love to go. Summon Clark, Rizal and Cluckers are trying to get in to there now. These ones are allowed to go. What about the Van Moor? Heidemann, Vekic and Sanchez. Ooh, the pace is increasing. One of those riders is not allowed in the breakaway. Hope that the breakaway gets a little bit more established shortly. The breakaway is now established. There is a fall in the peloton. Falman and Kristen have fallen, but they're back up. So the breakaway, be about 18 strong, is led by Chris Froome, Calzoni, Pella, the Vice, Arietta, Sweeney, Nealens, Van Gils, Schultz, Kron, Campanats, Degent, Livens, Pelazari, and the four who are trying to catch up is Clark, Van Moa, Russell, and Cluckers. Some big names in the breakaway. Schultz, who is 13th overall. Campanats is 21st. Van Gils is 15th. Nealens is 17th.
Looks like the two groups are about to become one, I think. Puncture for Cepeda in the Peloton. No one sprinted for that, with Kel's only taking maximum points there. Who's working in the peloton? It is just this, this guy, Ineos, Train Goldstein. Fourth in the KM classification. Oh, the Pradel is the, the what do they call it? HC climb. I can't pronounce that stuff. Oh, looks like a few riders. Oh, is a fall in the peloton. Bizcarta is down, but he is up and he is back in the pack. Faithful domestic for Damien Housen. Runs the, the breakaway, not too happy with the pacing that is going on. But the first rider to drop will be the one from Human Powered Health. Livens, maybe? Maybe Russell. Oh, Froome. Man, come on. Froome has been dropped by the breakaway. Calzoni looking pretty dead as well. Arise doing a lot of work and then regretting it later. Small split in the breakaway. A few riders dropping the wheel. There we are, 2.6 to the KOM point at the top. Anything happening in the peloton? Just a few riders being dropped off the back. Tissin, the first man to be dropped, and Fegastrom. There's a fall in the pack. A few riders on the ground. Tekla Hamanot, Halverson, but no one has abandoned. Back to the front, the 14 riders are back together. Eight hundred meters to go. Andreas Kron attacks. Nineteenth overall. Elieta responds. Nealens and Van Gils. Van Gils is coming up, but Kron takes maximum points here. It's a run out. Just rolls across the line. Simon Pelot is still in the KM classification lead. There's no one else who had points, gained points, and Bulens. Has had a puncture, but he is back in the peloton. Blikra, Salig, Kluger, and Friedemann have all been dropped. Caleb Ewan, the first sprinter to go, decline not far, too far behind. Nizolo could be next for EF Education. In the front, they're all split up because of that climb, just eight riders out in front. Luckily the rain's not playing too much havoc. Fall by Lemon in the pack. He has caused a major crash. A few other riders are on the ground. But I think everyone's back up because that's just how this game works these days. Oh nope, one rider's still on the ground. Lemon is still on the ground. Fogglesung! Oh no, okay, just Lemon. Lemon is abandoning the race as the pack gets split up due to the descents. Levens has just been caught by the Peloton. There's now 11 men out in the front in the big, in the f first breakaway on the road. Another fall 
in the pack. Victor de la Part from the from Ineos in the Peloton. I don't think anyone's not abandoning. A lot of groups split up on the stage. Oh, another crash here. Sounds Fogelsang Valgren going down. Guillaume Boyvin as well. Everyone seems to be up though. Three riders in between the breakaway and the peloton. Pelazari, Cluckers, and Van Moer are about to catch the breakaway. Can they do so before the start of this next climb? Intermediate sprint point coming up. Will anyone be sprinting for it? Don't think so as Pallard goes across the line first, gaining 20 points. Well, there's a few points still on offer for the Peloton. As De Lee attacks, De Boist comes round on the final corner, does he? Nope, De Boist kind of sits up. Pallard now in third, overtaking his teammate Sutter. So in the category 1 climb, the Cole. Dealer Cruita. Clock is now well and truly done from the breakaway. Pelozari also paid for his early efforts. The gap to the peloton is being cut. It's only three minutes now. Ineos still le leading the pace. Pozzovivo up there. I said Pozzovivo is isolated, but he's got three domestics chilling at the back. Pelod and Van Moa drop back now. Pelod might lose his KOM jersey today with 20 points still on offer. Eight hundred meters to the top. Kron's going for it once again. Nealon sprints as well, but Kron takes it. He moves into second. Kron needs more than seven points at the next KOM point to take the KOM jersey off from Simon Pelud. There's now twenty riders left in the breakaway as Donovan, Van Moa, and Monquit have been dropped. A lot of riders struggling. to hint is gone. Voisard is gone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Who is missing from the top 10? Latour! Pierre Latour is gone! Second overall is down the mountain. We missed that. Who is he waiting for someone else? Rest in peace, Pierre Latour. There's mouse. Let's get the time gap to the tour just to see how much time he has lost. What group is he in? A15. The tour is 11 minutes down. We'll have to watch the race replay to figure out what the hell happened there. Sad for Latour, unfortunately. 
Who else is in Latour's team? It is Ninja's team. I guess Tion Tion's is. Hey, what? Not 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 Ninja. Sorry, Kaitilis. Oh, that's why you're sad. Who else if you go up there? Okay, I don't know who Latour was waiting for. Anyway, the breakaway has 2 minutes 36 on the peloton. Peloton is just the favourites left with a few. Has anyone got any domestics actually? Yes, Turns has got one domestic. Voissard is back. Two riders behind Donovan and Monquit. Two minutes twenty-five. The gap from the peloton to the breakaway. As we said, Kron needs to win or get second in this KOM next KOM point to take the jersey. The fall at the back, but that's not important right now. Only fifty-seven seconds. Ewan has crashed. Johannesson has attacked the group of favourites with turns following Kras and Reichenbeck also. Harry Sweeney from the breakaway has been caught by the peloton. Pozavivo, Hausen and Derek G all up there. Chasing down these riders who have attacked. Kron now on the front, he wants those KOM points. Derek G is looking a little bit dead fifth overall. He is blocking Pozavivo. Michael Woods is there. Everyone has made a move except for Lopez. Lopez is caught behind, as is Burgadu, who is 10th overall. Woods and Pozzavivo dropping back. Fucking hell. Missed the KOM points while we were doing that. But Andreas Kron won ahead of Van Gillers, Arietta, Bars, Schultz, and Johannesson, so Kron is now in the KOM jersey. 14 Ks to go. Pozzavivo, hurry up man, don't get dropped! Anyway, at the front of the pack, there is Kras, Johannesson, Hausen, G, Tjerns, and the rest of the breakaway. Van Gils is up here, he'll be getting some time, so will Kron. Geez, looks like they're re-looping right on the same course. Here comes all the favourites now, except for Pozzavivo, who's off the back. Dominica Pozzavivo, fourth overall. He has made it onto that pack of favourites once again. He just has to hang on. It is a descent to the line. Will someone launch an attack with eight kilometres to go? Johannesson launches. 7.2 to go. Seventh overall. Hausen reacts. It's taken a bit for the rest of the, of the group to react to his attack. 4.8 to go, Johansson's been reeled in by Hausen. Pozzavivo chilling at the back for some god knows reason. Lopez even further back, but he's got Simon Clark to protect him. Woods goes this time, launching a sprint, 2Ks to go, Neelands. He counters round the front, 1.1 kilometer to go for Michael Woods. It's a slight uphill. Yelens is caught by the Packers. Woods takes his second stage. Johansson takes second in the sprint with Hausen and G. Positivo losing a small amount of time on this stage. As with Reichenbach. Nealens losing time, but gaining time overall. Where is Latour? He is chilling with Del Toro and Diaz. 15 Ks down the road. Go, 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 go. 
Tesson and Fagastrom are riding together. I think they should make it 16k to descent about 30 minutes. Yeah, they should be fine. Yeah, they're fine. Five minutes to spare. on the tour and see what happens to him. Still on the peloton, still on the peloton, still on the peloton. He's sitting too far back on that first climb. For some reason. Oh, he drops on that first climb because he's too far back. Peloton bad positioning on that first climb. And through that descent. Whoa, 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 why did they wait? See how they are coming over the top. Pierre Latour. He's in the back of the pack, which is not ideal for him. And then there is a split in the pack shortly, and they just sit up. Pierre Latour and Doobie both sit up. Who are they waiting for? They're waiting for this bunch here. Guerin? Anyway, really bad AI. I'm gonna save that. Actually, you know what? Oh, don't crash, don't crash. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's go to the results then. This is the last stage for today. But Woods wins the stage 8 seconds ahead of Pate. 9 seconds ahead of Pate lose. Oh my god, how many exports did I fucking forget? Anyway, end of the second week. The GC has changed dramatically with Latour losing 20 places. Turns moves up to second, Pozzero to third, everyone moves up by one except for Reichenbeck stays on 11th. Van Itveld moves up two places. Points classification delay in the green for the second rest day. Andreas Kron now in the KOM. And the youth still Johannesson and team is still going to be Sir Gosprio as Cyril moves up. It's the end of the second week. The third week looks to be quite interesting as we see a lot more mountain finishes, fewer flat stages. Thanks for tuning in. So upset.